For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament. In my blood, this do ye, as often as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Father, thank you again now, Lord, for this opportunity as we remember one more time. Lord, what you did for us. Even as I stand here, Lord, I think of that song, Love So Amazing, So Divine. Love So Amazing, So Divine. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Grace that is greater than all of our sin. Lord, we thank you for that today. Bless the table, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen, as often as we do come to the table, he does say that as often as you do this, you do show the Lord's death until he come, until he come. I have commented many times, I'm always somewhat amazed that Jesus has not come since last month. I look for his coming. We ought to look for his coming. The signs of the time are just are everywhere. They mount up. The, the political situation is right. The economic situation is right. Uh, the military situation is just about, everything is just about right for Jesus to come. Now, he may not come anytime soon, but the situation is ripe for his return. But until he does return, until he does. So, preacher, why do we have the Lord's table every month? Some churches have it once a year. Some churches have it once every quarter, which would be once every three months. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death. Because we are so, we are so forgetful, so prone to forget things. So we, we forget so easily, and I, mean, I know we come to church every week, and I know we talk about Christ, and we talk about heaven. We talk about the Christian life. We talk about doing right, living right. Talk about Christian service. Talk about reaching people for Christ. Talk about reading our Bibles every day. Talk about reading, or talk about praying, talking to the Lord. Talk about witnessing. Talk about being a good witness. Talk about being uh, on fire for God. And we forget what it's all really about. The Lord's death for us. I read this morning in church, no greater love hath any man this than a man laid down his life for his friends. You're, and he said this, I'm paraphrasing this part. He said, you are no longer servants, but ye are my friends. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a great thing to be called his friend. We think about heaven because of the death of Christ. We think about the forgiveness of sins because of the death of Christ. We think about the coming as because of the death of Christ. Everything that there is, everything that we have to do is because of the death of Christ. And one more time, we remember that, what Jesus did for us. Father, we do remember. Lord, we remember. And Lord, we thank you for it. Bless the table. Help us to search our hearts. Help the preacher not to harbor anything there that ought not. Lord, I, I, I will readily confess it. Lord, I'll readily tell you about it. May we search our hearts this morning, this afternoon, I pray. And bless this table in Jesus' name, amen and amen.